Dun, 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 <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the Washington Commanders. There it is. And and look, like we alluded to at the end of the day, harping on the you know, you, you can't give the ball away. At the end of the day, you can't give the other opportun- other team five opportunities, four interceptions and a fumble. Cannot give them that many opportunities to succeed, especially not a good team. You know, right. unfortunately, that is what we did. Sam Howell threw four interceptions. Antonio Gibson also had a fumble that we lost. Um, and Sam Howell had nine sacks. I mean, look, at the end of the day, th- this can't happen. Up until this point, I believe we have 19 sacks. In 2023, in he's three been games. sacked 19 times. Yeah, yes. that's that's not a good pace. No. We're not on. You know, let's be very honest with that. So I, that's that's me giving him the benefit of the doubt. With that being said, I'll go back to the very first sack. You're sitting here. You drop back. You have receivers coming. You see the rush. You have a check down. You look at the check down. You pat the ball, and then you and you start looking downfield. That one's on you. That has to be go with that for you. Got to go yeah. with instinct. You need to stop. And I and it, what it looked like on that play is he's thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking. He needs to react. He needs to just boom. He's open. Get in the ball. Second play. I talked to you about that that um, interception that he threw at the goal line. He had a guy that he that was short. I think it was Deami Brown that could quick stop route, and he was wide open. And he said, all right, I see something, and I'm going to try. But he's getting rushed, so it was an off-balance throw. So it's like, ah, you can't, you're, you're taking opportunities and momentum away from our team. But talk to me, Will, because, yes, this looks ugly. This stat line, the four sacks, the nine sacks, the four interceptions that he threw, certain times when he is holding the ball. But one thing that we've said and one thing that is consistent is no matter what, he doesn't shy away. The next time, he still is going to throw it as hard as he can. He still is going to try, even to his detriment. He still get, tries to throw it out there. So talk to me about these struggles. Uh, yeah, I mean, similar to what we said, we've been struggling, you know, the last – the first two games. You know, you're going to have this with a rookie quarterback. You're going to have his ups and downs. And Sunday was a really, really, really down – big downgrade. But it also – is, is exposing the continuance of things for him to work on. And it's, this is what's most important, important is Sam Howe can't get better unless he plays. Yep. The things that he's yes. going through that he's struggling with, he has to learn on the field. Um, he's getting caught, like you said, looking around and not taking his, his check down. One of the things he hasn't done, much, maybe one time I think I can remember in our three games, just throw the ball away because yep. nobody's open. And the only other the time he did it was once in the end zone against Denver on the like there was seven seconds left and he took a shot and the ball wasn't catchable and then one other time in that game, but he's not just saying. And remember in preseason against Cleveland where he was scanning the field, scanning the field, and he was like, "Okay, next play." He hasn't done that so far. I think he wa- you know he wants to make plays out there, but then most importantly, it's his ability to read a defense. Mm-hmm. Now, Eb said something. Couple, we talked about it two weeks ago where he said, "You know what." Sam doesn't make the same mistake twice. And if he gets caught out there by something and confused, it's because he's seeing it for the very first time. Mm -hmm. And then he learns from it. And that's continuing to happen. What we, one of the things the the Bills player said afterwards was they're like, hey, we we knew if we could put some pressure on him and get him staying in that pocket and looking around, he would have trouble. Yep. Okay. They took film from what the Broncos did, where they were looping players around. Yes. Buffalo only ran four man rushes, which mm. is concerning for offensive line that were getting beat five on four. Mm. But what they were doing is they were confusing where guys were coming from. You know, they it wasn't just their four defensive linemen rushing up the field. Linebackers were were coming off the edge and the defensive end would drop back into cover. So they were disguising where it's coming from. They were looping players around just to get Sam, you know, confused as to seeing, you know, you see a guy when you snap the ball, he's he's right in the middle, but then all of a sudden now he's coming off the edge and he can only see him from his peripheral and he's losing track of things. But Sam's detriment at North Carolina was he held on to the ball and his ability to scan the field. Yep. He is not 
my guy here. Man, get out of here. Okay. Boy, think that about is it. why I'm wearing this shirt because we gotta, we've got to remember this guy. And this is what they talked about when they said Taylor was so good at processing. He could go one, two, three really quickly to know where he needed to go with the ball. Problem is he doesn't have the arm to get it to where he needs to right. go. But he would still throw it to where he needed to go, which is why we had all those dropped interception opportunities last year. Because he, he was just throwing go, to somebody. I got to get it there. And <laughs> you throw these lollipops. But Sam's still progressing with that. And yeah. defenses know that. Mm-hmm. They're taking that, you know, he's now got three games of film. And and now we there's a blueprint on how to play against us. And you darn know Philly is is taking note with their defense, with their pass rush, with their linemen, with their linebackers, and and they're they're licking their chops of what they can do. But the best thing about this is it's out on there, it's out on film for Sam to start looking at. And he said, we got to look at the film. We got to look at this. We don't throw this away. We got to look at it so we can learn what happened so we don't make those mistakes again. Yeah. And I mean, and, and that's that's absolutely right. I mean, and again, you look at these, you see four interceptions. Obviously, that's one of these that's atrocious. You're like, no, where you, what the heck? What happened? But if you break them down, you start seeing that first one. It was a third and 19. It was after the first sack he took, you know. So he's sitting here holding it, trying to make the play. That's something that works in certain situations. And if he's bearing down and he completes it, you're like, oh, man, look at he stood in the pocket. But then there are certain other situations like on this third and 19 where he's like, all right, I want to get it down there. I want to get it down there. And you're not watching that linebacker, uh, Bernard, roaming underneath, who incidentally made an amazing play. I mean, he jumped out of his shoes to get the ball. But still, it's one of those things that you got to pay attention. You got to see, is it worth it to try to get it here and gun this ball down here? Or can I maybe scramble or check down or something else to live to see another day? You know what I mean? Then you go with the up uh, the second the second interception, which is on third and two, where you first you go goes back to the play call where you're sitting here like, why are we in the shotgun on a third and two? And and what else is happening now? We have four wide receivers and we have a running back coming out to the flat. So you're get, you're taking even less guys in the backfield to help block and stuff like that. What did we say that it's the offseason? We need to help Wiley. We need to help Leno. We need to start chipping these DNs, lose these tight ends, Arma. Why else do we bring him up to start staying in the backfield and chip and help out? Anytime Sam got a guy in his face, Sam wants to be Mr. Oh, I'm going to get it around you. I'm going to I'm going to find a way to make this great pass. When there are some times when you just got to go down or throw it away, or do something. But if you have a guy in your face and you can't see, and Sam's not particularly tall at all. Nope. So, you know what I mean? Like, even some of those passes that look like he's up on his tippy toes trying to get it. So, you're seeing this stuff, and it's like, ah, Sam, mm, hold it, hold it. But then you sit there again. You got a second and eight, and, and you're trying to force it. You're trying to get all of these points back at one. All of these things are little things. It's like, Sam can't do that. But he can't do that. You got, you got to live to see another day. Know the down and distance. Know the situation that's going on in the game because at that point in the third interception, he's driving. we're driving down the field. Brian Robinson I, does not get enough credit for how well he played in this game because a lot of these times, it's the second, third, and fourth tackler that are finally bringing him down. He's he's carrying guys down the field, but you, can't, you only give him 10, 10 carries. You know what right. I mean? I think he had a total of what? Uh, 12 carries. I think Gibson had a carry or two. Right. Sam Howell had a carry. And then you had that. And, but you still had over 100 yards because Gibbs, because um, uh, B Rob did what he did. You know what I mean? And then on the, on the last one, he find Sam finally does what I want him to do. The, he gets a little pressure, steps up, and I'm like, oh, shoot. Okay. Pump fake, cut back, do something because that defender knows you're trying to throw it behind him. But why are you, Mr. Short Quarterback, trying to overthrow a defender that's right in front of you? And if you look at the pass, he throws it, but he throws it almost like down. Like he's like, this is the height where his arm is, but the ball goes down. So the so the defender isn't catching it here. He's catching like right here. <laughs> so he catches it there and then all, and then he has a convoy to the end zone. Right. You know what I mean? All of this stuff is fixable. All this stuff is correctable. But it is a situation where you're kind of like, Sam, mm, you should know better than that, man. Like, what, what, what's going on in here, man? Take a deep breath or do something. Because it wasn't – some of these – the one in the end zone, guy made a great play on the ball. 
the first one, he jumps out of his shoes, like I said, makes a great play on the ball. But some of these other ones, it's like, Sam, you're, you're forcing this, buddy. You don't need to do this, especially after your first two. So, it, like you said, he's got the tape. He's got to learn from it. He's got to review it. That's great. But no matter how much tape you review, no matter how much you learn, until you see that stuff, like you said, till you experience it, until you learn from it, we're going to be in that same situation. So I, I'm ready to see him learn, but the fact that we have to do it now against the division rival and the ex, the NFC's, <laughs> you know, uh, runner up in the Super Bowl. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I see, I see in the background. Come on, man. <laughs> Well, so, look, Sam's I, got. Go, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I no, so, yeah, at the, at the end of the day, this is all good for the tape to learn to move up, but don't want to see it happen. He, Sam has to work on situational awareness. Yep. Okay, and and it's it's what you're alluding to. It's the fact we got the ball in the very first drive that we had. We got the ball to the twenty-five. Then he took a nine-yard sack. Mm -hmm. So, and then on third down, he tried to to do too much where against a good team last week and now against a good, against a good team this week, we got to be going for points. Mm -hmm. And so if it's third 19, you need to be moving the ball forward. You need to almost in your head. No, I've conceded this drive. The goal is, is field goal. The goal is not to throw the ball past the sticks to get that first down. There's, there's time and place for that. But when we hit to, when we hit the red zone or we hit within a position where we're in a place to get points, he's got to get more conservative out there. So he should not have thrown that ball and you know, that first interception. They should have run a, a much softer, an easier play to get some points. You're conceding the fact that you're not going to get a first down. You're setting up a field goal because you're just trying to get points on the scoreboard. Same thing after, after half, same thing. They drove down again and then he went for too much. So he needs to understand, he needs to have situational awareness. He also needs to be aware of the fact that now that we're in the red zone, there's going to be less time. I don't have two seconds. And so if that play's not there, he's got to get rid of the ball, whether that means he's running it to, to just gain a couple yards or throwing the ball away. So he needs to be protective of scoring opportunities more, which like you said, you can only learn from experience. It's good to put it on, on film, you know, to see, so you, we can really see out there, but this is going to be his biggest test because yep. we, he's got the arm strength. He's got the accuracy. He's got the athleticism. He's got the ability to, to brush off bad plays. But he's not the only guy who came out of college with all those abilities. Right. What right. separates is can they scan the field? Can you be like my smart guy here from ODU Why? and Why? scan the field? Because that that is where he his next progression level will be. And he's got a whole season to prove that. And he needs to be given the whole season to find. Can he do that? We know he's got the arm talent. Can he develop into into a franchise quarterback? Yeah, we we can't all get into the uh, league and get to run the same system we've been running since college. All right, like Mister uh, Taylor Heineke. All right, <laughs> <laughs> he, I, I swear he's the only quarterback that 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 Scott Turner's offense works with, and it barely worked. <laughs> but he got it done. 